Hello, Just everyone. <laughs> Hi. Hi, folks. Hey, everybody. So, multiple choice question for you, and you have to choose one of these. You don't get to decline oh, uh, no. taking one of these. <clears throat> Would you rather be able to hear ants or smell ants? Mm. Oh, oh I, I got this one. Oh, wow. Okay, then go for it, Dan, if you got it. Okay, I'd like to smell ants because that's their like fa- that's their pheromone. You know, that's how they talking to each other. You know, mm-hmm. I want I want in on what the ants are saying. Very good. Yeah, I think that's a good answer. I think if I could hear ants, there would just be a constant background scratching that I could never escape, and I feel like that would at some point that's gonna just drive me insane. Um, but yeah, it's a good point about being able to smell their pheromones and how they communicate with each other. I don't know what uh, ants would smell like, but I guess this is this is how I'd find out. So, so my answer builds on both of theirs. My sense of smell is my worst sense. So I would feel like I, I could not communicate with them properly on the pheromone level. But I would also be afraid to be listening to them. So can I pretty please say neither? <laughs> I guess the, the other thing is just because you can smell them and you can hear, you can smell what they're saying doesn't mean that you'd be able to communicate back. But I, I don't know. I'm not even sure be I'd be able to... to smell them. It really is my worst sense. Worst sense. We'll, we'll All find these, a like, way. Uh, yeah, we'll find a way. Okay. Okay. I'll yeah. go. I'll go with smell then. But, you know, all the things about, like, I can't smell, that means you're sick, that doesn't mean a lot to me. I'm like, shoot, I already can't smell these things. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta change, I, I don't know what was the correct answer, but I feel like smell them if I can talk to them is the correct <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm I love okay, ants. I, gotta, I, they're, they're cool. I did, ex- I did extrapolate a bit when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when we went from smell to talk, but, you know, it's like, <laughs> my, foot in the door or something (laughs) yeah my answer is definitely smell because i feel like i already have a good idea of what ants would sound like and i know i don't want to hear that but what they smell like i may or may not like and so i'd rather take the 50 50 shot so we all want to smell ants Mm -hmm. (laughs) so we all want to smell ants yep where did you come up with that man this was a question that my nephew asked his dad <laughs> and said, Daddy, oh. is it possible to smell ants? And we went into this long, like, back and forth about, well, you know, how many ants would have to be together for you to be able to smell them? And then I think I turned it into, well, would you rather be able to smell them or hear them? And I jotted that down as an icebreaker question. Well, there you go. It's a good question. Now, which of us can summon a swarm of ants to uh, solve that problem? There you go. Vomit swarm? That's a good Although, with, yeah. our, with our new leveling up, I think Danya can turn into ants. Hey! And I think there's going to be a swarm of people headed to the uh, voting booths soon. <gasps> uh, have we given any thought to who our exactly. next town council candidate is going to be that this group is going to support? Um, so, uh, so we've already, so to, to, to go back, we have already supported Pralt, right? After supporting Alastra yes. and Jolly for mm-hmm. like a, a start or something. Yep. Then Those I, are your two you've got so far. I, did we do Shavrin Darley at all? I thought we were thinking about it, but that's someone I might be interested in. I think we considered it. From the Wood Giants Tavern. Mm-hmm. Um, that might be good. Yeah, they are, they are a, a good, solid foundation for for us in Axide, and I I think we can rely on them. I would agree. What, you said uh, Shavern Darley. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. I think we've even got literally our- Artemis. It's like that's what I've been saying. I've been saying <laughs> that. I've been saying that since day one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, just to recap for the viewers, Shavrin <laughs> Darley is the owner of the Wood Giants Taver- Tavern. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shavrin sees many of the orcs of Axide as they make their way to and from jobs throughout the city. 
Uh, she is considering opening a second establishment in Axide and sponsoring the Welcome to Maravon board. Uh, she herself is a half-orc as well, so mm-hmm. fits right in with the adventure. Great. We'll be sure to celebrate. Very cool. Is it just like one, we too much one that we're looking to... Mm-hmm. One that we're looking I to think support. I think it works better to support one. My original draft yeah, of the yeah. rules had supporting two, and we we yes. pretty much get to enough election points to get one. And okay, it, you know it's nice to have a backup if you ever get you know out of sync. But yeah. y'all have mm. been consistently getting four election points to get folks elected, so I think we'll just stick with one. Sounds good. And will we have another round of this? Uh, yes, there are there are two more rounds because there's one at the end of each block, and you just finished block three. Perfect. Okay. I think now, in principle, you is, only. Yeah. I should say, I think uh, Bombo is starting to warm to Kitswin, the town crier. I think. Aww. I think uh, that's somebody that he could probably get get along with, both being probably quite loud and bombastic, and. Uh, I don't know. I think Bombo might be secretly into musical theatre. <laughs> nice. Let's let's read that. off about Kitswin. Uh, Kitswin is a town crier who has made Axide part of his daily circuit even before it's officially recognized. He is interested in starting up an after-school program in Axide featuring sailing and musical theatre. So, yeah, I went. I think uh, later too. Bombo's going to start. Uh, you know planting seeds on behalf of Kitswin, and then maybe in the future we'll get a musical episode. Oh. <laughs> Start warming up those pipes now for three months from now. <laughs> you, uh, you you say that. Stay tuned to the We're Strong Together YouTube channel, is all I'll say. Oh, yeah. I saw that queued up, man. It is ready to go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, so uh, you all approach, I assume you all approach Shavrin Darley about mm-hmm. uh, about running. Um, like I said, her plans right now are to open a second establishment in Axide and sponsor a Welcome to Maravon board. How do you uh, how do you pivot that into a uh, into a town council position? Um, she's an entrepreneur who's trying to build up a community with. Uh, brand new small business. I mean, I think that speaks volumes. Is going to have the mind to being able to manage a budget the same way that she would manage a business. No you know, um, <laughs> government doesn't. Let's go with the old boomer bootstrap take. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have not been here for too long. I think uh, having someone who's willing to welcome in newcomers is very much someone. Uh, I put my trust in, and I think a lot of others would too. I was I was going to say the same thing. If you can't trust an innkeeper, what's the world coming to? Write that down. That's, <laughs> that's, that's going in the. Here we go. It's going in the promotional yeah. material right there. I got another one as well. Maybe <laughs> um, serving drinks and serving the people. <laughs> nice. A person you can get a beer with. I mean, literally, like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and from it. yeah. Doesn't I'm... get more true than that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, she is. Uh, she, you, you, you maybe sit down. Speaking of which, you probably sit down for a beer with her. And after an hour or two, she comes around and says, "You know what? I think. I think." That's a good idea. I think this would be a good logical next step for me. Now, based on the way you've pitched that. Uh, it sounds like we probably need somebody to use the negotiate endorsements activity and somebody to either stump or rally. So I just put those out there as suggestions to keep with the theme there. Um, if we're ready to move on, uh, why don't everybody go ahead and roll your choice of diplomacy or society for initiative? Okay. Uh, by the way, I've been working on pilling up. Uh, we have actually got Art of Shavern, so she's on our stream now, hanging out with us. You might want to end the current encounter. Oh, is there an encounter going on? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I just meant make a check. I'll I'll sort the initiative manually since we don't have any films okay. going on. Okay. Diplomacy or 
Diplomacy or society. Okay. So Danya was consulting with an artist to get this beautiful picture. Um, gosh, is she in the player's guide? So I can just tell you guys. Mm-hmm. Online. Uh, you know what? Ah, uh, jeez. Wow. I never rolled that well in my real game. So it looks like it will go Helen, Dem, Tony, Jamie. So, Helen, what is uh, what is Danya interested in doing for her campaign activity? I guess I need to reshare the yeah. set of activities. I'm pulling there it up go. on the uh, screen now. Whoops. Election cycle. Uh, that was – there's election cycles. There we ah. go. I'm trying to bring it up on the showy thing. Okay. Cool. So, Donnie went to go find an artist. I mean, um, it's this beautiful picture. Uh, let's see. I mean, she's already part of the businessmen. Do we need to negotiate endorsement, rally, recruit volunteers? Well, I, I it might be a good idea to, I think, negotiate for the Welcome to Maravon board, potentially? Oh, I don't just know. To, just to, just yeah, actually, idea. I like that, to pull more people onto that. Would that help? Would that give bonuses to other people, though? And since I'm going first, I should be looking for bonuses for everyone else. You know what? How about recruit volunteers? Donnie's going to try to get more volunteers to help everybody else out. How's that sound? Right. Just going to rally other folks up. Okay. Damn, what would uh, what would Gog like to do? Well, in that case, I'll try to negotiate um uh negotiate endorsements i guess any lore or used to oh it needs to be okay can i not use crafting or something uh oh, sure we could call it crafting yeah you've been you've been taking part in the local businesses enough yeah okay great i mean i guess or orc lore i don't know but uh crafting yeah okay great i'll do that then do i have to All roll right. now or later uh, we'll roll. We'll we'll Later. everybody pick, okay. and then we'll roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tony, what would Artemis like to do? I think I probably would work the debate again. I think that's mm. Artemis at this point is flexed enough of those. Like our oh, business as usual, we'll put them up there. Smear campaign. <laughs> Very good. What, what would you like me? What would you like me to roll? Uh, we'll make that. Let's see. Debate is stump. Uh, we don't so, yeah so we don't have a debate activity we do have a stump that is society and that's where you go yeah, to sure. have town yeah, hall yeah. yeah no no that does have debates under in the description yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. uh jamie what would uh what would bomba like to do he wants to hyper up really um so what's the best way to do that do we think and what's going to be the most useful probably a rally rally <clears throat> a rally at the sawing log in. Mm-hmm. No, this one's not sawing log. Sorry, a rally at the Wood Giants Tavern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he wants to hype people up to kind of get them on on side. All right. All right, let's start with Danya with the recruiting volunteers. So that is diplomacy or society. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she's going to go with the diplomacy route, really talking with people like, this is who we want to get there. You know her, you love her, you work and you get your coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. your coffee your drinks with her every time let's how did i do oh hero point hero Hero point sounds good hero point wow (laughs) feast or famine (laughs) on the rolls here uh so you critically (laughs) succeed you earn two election points (sighs) and you grant a plus two circumstance bonus to anyone who, let's see, recruit volunteers feeds into negotiate, negotiate endorsements. Endorse. Exactly. That's, so. that's what we're doing. We're feeding in. All right. So. Long. All right. Crap. Dem, you get to add a plus two to this. Hooray. Okay. This isn't my best skill, but I will talk to them. You know, I uh, welcome mm-hmm. to Maravon board. I don't know. I, I do tattoo stuff for crafting. I'm not sure if I could spin that in any way. <laughs> Nice, nice. Yeah, you're able to do some some, some temporary campaign tattoos because you know those probably don't need to be permanent. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you're able to get another election point. So between uh, the volunteers uh, going out in the community and doing some papering, uh, you're able to uh, you know the word gets out before you go to the businesses. 
Uh, and you're able to, you're really able to sell this welcome to Maravon board idea. Mm-hmm. And so you think that's, you think it's going to carry you forward. All right, Tony, Artemis is setting up a stump. So that can be diplomacy or society. Yeah, I would like to do society and I'm going to try to cultivate an image where nice. she has like sharp pointed like responses to people in the, you know, like bringing on that, that energy, you know, like you're not afraid to actually say what, what's really happening to people, you know, in act side, you know? Very and, good. So I'm tra- I'm working on building up like the brand basically. So I'm mm-hmm. going to go with society. For- <laughs> Big bucks, no whammies. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. So she's, yeah, she's able to, uh, to get those pointed answers. Um, she's clearly, you know, embedded in the community uh, but you you are able to like help her with the wording and you know help people hear what they need to hear to you know know that their that their concerns are being addressed. Wonderful. All right, we're gonna finish off this week of activity with a rally. Jamie, yeah. bring us home. Yeah, so Bomba is gonna uh, try and start persuading any people who may not think that um, Shrapnel's a good good person for the post really so he's gonna at the rally he's gonna stand up on a sturdy table and try and make himself seen and he's gonna start hyping people up he's gonna say uh uh listen good folk i need to speak to you about uh about shavin you all know her and she knows you too she knows every story every traveler every heartbeat of this town and Mm -hmm. Who better to represent us than her? Settle bar brawls, you bet. She's a negotiator, she's a mediator, everything we want. And it's not just about serving drinks and giving people a, a bed to sleep in. It's about knowing our town's soul. So by Gorham's might, she's the one. Let's get behind her. Uh, so there we go. And let's see. Watch me roll the natural one. This is about to happen. Uh, I already used my hero point. You can too. Okay, let's see. Public role, yeah. Public role, yeah. <laughs> we conclude, we started with a crit, we conclude with a crit. Uh, so y'all are actually able to get up to six election points when you only needed four. So we're going to carry two of those forward uh, into the next cycle. Uh, Gavin, so that you will start your best with friend time. is now... <laughs> who is your best friend that can encourage who's coming up next? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And in fact, yeah, yeah. So you actually y'all are able to, you know, get Kitswin into some of these events mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. so that he starts to like get oriented to what it's like and you know can use that wonderful projective voice to now advocate for himself mm-hmm. and not just for the news. Oh. So that's nice. Okay, well, uh, another nice. few weeks pass in Maravon. Um oh yeah, I should probably read the outcome for the election. Yeah. Um, so let's see. So a couple things happen in the weeks following. Um, so uh, your Saverin candidate was updated or was was elected. Um, you notice that she's able to persuade two more council members to begin voting in favor of Axide related issues. So the majority is definitely starting to turn that way. Um, the town council agrees to establish additional public services in Axide. So the orcs don't have to keep going back into the main part of town to get things like healthcare or library books or things like that. Um, you also now as a party gain access to uncommon and rare options from Orc Strong mm-hmm. Together up to 12th level. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, and then mm-hmm. let's see, let's get Sharvin herself, a uh, Shavrin, excuse me, Shavrin herself. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to craft an alchemical item, you reduce the number of days required by ah. one because she's able to use her connections with the alchemical folks uh, over in the breweries mm-hmm. to help you with that. 